Well, look, I've spoke about it before, haven't I? That if Liz Truss wins uh, the Conservative leadership race, as looks likely, she can hit the ground running by appointing the likes of uh, Kemi Badnock, Soella Braverman, Lord Frost, Jacob Rees-Mogg to senior cabinet roles. And indeed, the rumours are that that is what is going to happen if Truss wins, as looks likely. But I know another Brexiteer um, who's popular with many of you having read your comments, and you can see some of your comments there, is Sir John Redwood, who we know absolutely pulls no punches whatsoever when it comes to Brexit, uh, standing up uh, to the EU. And when it comes to uh, the leadership race in itself, he's spoken recently describing it as mu amusing to see the left pro-EU media telling us Conservative members to vote Sunak. They hate the idea, he says, of popular Conservative tax cutting and Brexit wins with Liz, saying the more they lecture us, the more members will vote for Liz, and saying the left-wing press and media are all out to stop Liz, so they are clearly rattled, fearing her lower-tax, no-nonsense conservatism will prove popular. Well, could we see uh, John Redwood in a major role? It looks like we could under a Liz Truss premiership, because uh, according to The Telegraph, Sir John Redwood expected to be appointed as a Treasury Minister in a Truss government. Redwood saying he hadn't held any discussions with Truss about taking a role if she wins, but said he would take a job if he was offered one. And of course, in the Telegraph over the weekend, he set out some of his ideas as to what the British government should be doing. And I think there's absolutely no doubt, is there, that you want Conservative policies delivered. Someone like Sir John Redwood involved there would certainly, again, be another serious statement of intent from the next uh, Prime Minister. Let me know what you make of that prospect of Sir John Redwood as a Treasury Minister under a Liz Truss government. I'll keep bringing you all the very latest, so please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.